Yeah. So, I mean, a perfect example, I got a call, I mean, a frantic call from a nurse one time in a doctor's office and she was freaking out about this guy's testosterone. He's 85 years old and his testosterone was like 800 and a, a quote unquote normal testosterone is like 250 to 800. And she says, well, his 800 is too high for an 85 year old. Oh, okay. Why is that? But I said, the first question I said is I told her, take a deep breath. All right. Take a deep breath. He had just used his testosterone in the morning and just applied it. So he was going to be at a peak level. And I said, how is the patient doing? She says, he hasn't felt better in 20 years. So that's what we have to deal with. Right. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm 85, if I'm on something that's helped me feel better and a doctor wants to take me off of it, I'm going to a new doctor. And that's what I suggest you do too. Um, I mean, we are, we are meant to feel good. And most big pharma things, antidepressants, cholesterol medications, blood pressure meds don't help us feel better. We want to feel good. We want to feel optimal so we can sleep right. So we can exercise. So we can eat right. Those are the things that we need to do to prevent us from being on all these big pharma pharmaceuticals, which don't make us any healthier. They make us sicker. Yeah. 